With the number of ICU admissions soaring in Ontario, doctors and nurses may be on the verge of having to make impossible life or death decisions. We've never had to do anything like this before. Discussions around triaging life-saving care are difficult, especially as protocols are still being fine-tuned, but the ongoing third wave could make it a reality. If we have to initiate it, it's because the demands on our system are exceeding our system's capacity to handle them. Ontario hospitals received this document in January laying out guidelines on what to do if ICU beds run out. An official protocol has yet to be published. One of the guiding principles, the likelihood a patient would survive 12 months from the onset of critical illness. So while they say they're sizing up whether you're likely to live for a year, yeah, that's, that's the criterion, they have these tools that are explicitly disability-based for deciding it for some patients. That is disability discrimination that is contrary to the Charter of Rights. For months, this disability advocate has been writing to the Minister of Health calling for transparency, pointing out the secrecy over critical care triage plans has made many people with disabilities terrified, angry, and distrustful. I'm afraid. I'm totally afraid to go to hospital right now. John Mosa has muscular dystrophy. The clinical frailty scale in the draft protocol worries him. People with disabilities, seniors, uh, people who have cancer that need more assistance with their activities of daily living, they would rank very high on this scale. This is how Tracy O'Dell, who's living with spinal muscular atrophy, describes it. Just being thrown in the ocean without a life raft. You know, you just, you're not going to get any of those tools um, to survive and you're not, um, you're going to be a low priority. But Dr. James Donar, who's helping to draft the protocol, insists it is not based on disability, rather saving the most lives possible. What we're trying to do is make sure that if we have to apply this, that it will be applied fairly across the board. So at what point would the triage protocol be activated? Well, we do know at this point, several Ontario hospitals are preparing their training around emergency care standards. The Minister of Health, Christine Elliott, though, was asked today about a specific timeline for the triage protocol, and she simply says it has not yet been activated. Karen Lieberman, Global News.